time dimension table. So after I show that time dimension table, we will go move further and then uh, try to make use of more transformations than continuing in the same way whatever is been uh, in the tutorial. So that will be a little bit of uh, missing thing in the tutorial because they won't give you example for each and every uh, transformation that we use. So I'm going to uh, go and uh, open up my. Uh, it's not my own, but then it is the same uh, yesterday story. And the other important thing, guys, I know there was a little bit of humor missing in yesterday's class because now we are into technical stuff. But to be very friendly and uh, to remember the concept easily, uh, I wanted to still continue with my story of my hero and moving his, uh, moving his own stuff from slum into a palace. So uh, we are trying to move uh, data from a source. Uh, the sources are many kinds. As I told you, the flat file is considered to be the dumpster where all the items are, are collided. They have no relationship between each other. They are collapsed and uh, in a very denormalized or flat structure put into a table, which we, uh, sorry, we, in a flat file, which we tried to move it into a table yesterday. In the same way, as I told, my hero got on transforming himself into a different, uh, uh, I mean, doing different, different business and, and step by step, he was on the ladder. So he was reaching uh, step by step onto a different heights. And so those heights we call as database, which is a relational world and data services have provided that kind of a data here. So. ODS customers, we can say all these guys are heroes and, and the ODS employees, it is about his company, his material, uh, his region, whatever he has built so far. And we'll be moving all this data into a data warehouse. Fine guys, we'll go with the same story. And, uh, uh, and the other reason why I don't want it to go in an, uh, in an, uh, 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 in an easy manner is, uh, the only reason I have in mind is, uh, that you need to get used to the terminology. That's the reason that was stopping me a little bit. Uh, but now to just keep it the same active voice and uh, and also maintain uh, maintain it as as a small story, we'll we'll do that. So if you look at it, yesterday uh, we stopped here. We were populating the flat uh, flat uh, uh, the the sales org dimension from a flat file, which is this one. And now populating the time dimension using a transform is something which we are going to uh, go in. So this is the final structure what we will have to build. As part of your uh, your lab exercise, there is nothing like a lab exercise material again. The best lab exercise material is here. Make use of it and we will have to do something extra which I will show you saying how to build a type 2 dimension, how to make use of a table compare, how to make use of a map operation. I will at least deal with 10 other transformations and you will also do the data quality transforms which are not covered in the tutorial. So I will make use of data quality transforms. That's what we will do even today and even next four hours, I mean next week the first four hours will be also on the transforms and then we will proceed with the later uh, options of using SAP as a source or SAP as a target, touching the rapid marts and few other things. Okay guys. So if you see time, time is a very important thing in life. We all spend a lot of time doing several things and wasting our Sunday or Saturday with a boring lecture is also a waste of time. But the three hours, four hours you spend in the class is going to be a major yearning point for you. So uh, we are not wasting time. The conclusion is we are utilizing time for our future. To make our future happy, to earn more dollars and and uh, and to gather more assets, um, to live happy. Uh, philosophically, if we say money doesn't give you that happiness, but still, as we are in hunt of money in the United States, so still we'll have to learn the market uh, market uh, hot technologies to earn more. So SAP being really good in market now. If you go and look at even LinkedIn. There are hundreds of positions coming up every day. I see that we don't, we want uh, we we want uh, data warehouse developers, ETL developers using SAP data services, keywords, SAP uh, a lot of SAP tools. 
so for sure if anyone is looking for a job immediately you will get placed and i do have uh, i mean i'm going to i'm working with an employer who is ready to recruit four people next month so you might be one of them who may get recruited and he has a lot of direct clients with him they'll be able to take you place you and uh, pay you really good so they are also looking for a full time or even uh, contracting i would let you know the details end of the end of our 40 hour session but after today's session you can start preparing your resume by next week you should have a resume in hand if you are trying to uh, work on a job i will give you some sample resumes which you can make use of and try to put the same thing and start looking for a job so the story as is let us start with the time dimension time dimension guys if you ask me how to build a time dimension if we have a source that has a time uh, uh, time in, a, in a, a table structure then it makes our life easier to build but you know we have more than one sources every source has stored data in its own format like if you see when moving from a slum into a uh, palace surely if you look at your wall your ceiling everything will be changed in a palace you have the nice beautiful vaulted ceiling and if you look at the wall there will be a nice sandalwood mirror and also on top of it you have a big clock that is the time we are talking about so the time would have transformed for several generations and now it looks so beautiful in the palace so the same time dimension table we are trying to build but we are not going to use the source data because time is something universal you don't need to look into any table to build your time dimension do you guys agree that time is universal I think you should agree on that. There is no other way for anyone to escape saying time is not universal. So, but there is one important thing. You will have to also understand time in a business sense is can be little different. There is something called fiscal calendar. Fiscal calendar is more specific to uh, business. So few business, they have a start of their business in February and end of the business in January 31st or it can be depending also on the country's legal status because in few places you'll have to close all your accounts by March ending and then the new business or the new financial year for them starts in April. So it is all dependent on what kind of business you are doing and uh, uh, there are also legalities onto it. Uh, so uh, it, it depends on all that. But we are going to build the time dimension in a generic way but in companies you'll also see the fiscal calendar, fiscal calendar actually. If it is F-I-S-C-A-L. So fiscal calendar, you will have the actual date and the fiscal calendar date. And there can be sometimes if your business is too old that you started your business maybe in 1947, you may have even the Julian dates there. Oracle handles Julian dates in a real good fashion. And here you should use the conversion functions to get the Julian date also. So most probably, uh, I would show you what the functions look like, but I won't be able to build the time dimension that is going to be too sophisticated. But let us take an example here. So in this particular um, particular part of the tutorial, we will be narrated to build a time dimension using uh, one of the transforms of data services. That's where the life is easier with data services. If you want to build the same thing uh, in an PL SQL code, I mean there is no limitation certainly you can build it but maintainability scalability uh, uh, those things are are easier when you go into an ETL tool rather than building it in a PL SQL document PL SQL procedure so in a bit we are going to uh, log on to our mission create our own time dimension and work on it so I go back to my data services screen here after this workflow, if you see this is the workflow, data flow which we created. As I was telling you, uh, in the dimensional modeling world, how we generally do things is, all the dimensions can be loaded in parallel. Because they don't have any dependency on each other. So, here, as I was to, uh, to telling you, there is a strategy that I wanted to lay out for every job. The first workflow is about extraction. I will build one more workflow for me, which is going to be uh, more like 
a workflow that handles all the transforms. Why am I building it separately? It doesn't have a source. So for me, it is quite relatable saying, okay, I'm still building a time dimension, but I'm not taking it from source database. Instead, I'm using some, some other method to build my transform. So that, uh, that's what I'm trying to do here. So I will name it as time dim underscore transform just that it indicates that we are building a workflow that will have time dimension as part of it and we are building it from a transform just the readability perspective I named it like that so it's df underscore 001 underscore 02 underscore time dim okay and after I get into uh, the data flow here is what is important thing starts if you go into transforms, there are three categories in the transforms as defined or segregated by data services. So the platform transforms, you have case, map operation, merge, query, row generation, SQL and validation. These are all more platform based and I told these are not going to do a full push down SQL. When I say full push down SQL, the example I was giving you guys, try to recollect what I was telling is doing a full push down SQL as when we are moving from five different uh, apartments into a huge family home, isn't it fair that we filter out the unwanted data in the source level? Which means, isn't it fair that you leave the unwanted material, unwanted stuff and items in your uh, single, uh, single bedroom apartment or throw it into a dumpster if it is not required and then take only that required and informative data into uh, your data warehouse? I mean, Take that only good items that you require and move them into data, uh, move them into your palace. So that is a full push down operation that cannot be, uh, I mean, that can be only partially achieved by this. But if you wanted to uh, achieve, uh, am I telling you correct? No, that can be achieved by these transforms. I'm sorry, it is the other way around. These platform transforms will help you to perform it better. Whereas the data integrated transforms, these are for the different reason. But now we are going to use data integrated transforms. The reason being, we don't have a source. We are generating our own date transformation by using an, an uh, function or an inbuilt transformation of data services. So this will be totally using data services, processors, uh, data services, memory and everything. So if you look at the PDF, let us see what he is advising you. The exercise section builds and populates a time dimension table. Time dimension table contains a date time related attributes such as season, holiday period, fiscal quarter and others that are not directly uh, ascertainable from traditional SQL uh, style data time uh, data, data, data types. So the time dimension table is this uh, in this example is simply uh, in that it contains only an year number, month number and a business quarter as time attributes. It uses a Julian date as a primary key. So he has even tried to cover the Julian date there. So we would use the same thing for our uh, exercise purpose. So he named it as job underscore time, time, uh, time div. But I don't call it as a job. It is just one of the data flows. And we are going to use date generation as our source. So we go here. First thing is we pull it the date generation tra 